hi guys and welcome back to my channel i go by london cooks and in today's tutorial we are making some jamaican steamed fish now this was a request that i received from one of our cooking friends and so i'm simply just showing how i make my steamed fish if this is your first time here hit the subscribe button share this tutorial with a friend and if you like what you're seeing stay tuned To make my steamed fish, I'm going to be using three red snappers, some butter, fish flavored soup mix, fish seasoning, all-purpose seasoning, black pepper, cock flavored seasoning, and I found this at my local farmer's market, but you can also find it on my Amazon storefront for purchase. I'm also going to be adding some Jamaican water crackers, and that is optional, you guys. Uh, this is one green onion, which I cut up, and one scotch bonnet pepper. I'm adding extra okros to here. So this is about two cups okra washed and cut up, and this is fresh okra. One tomato diced. And of course, some fresh blend. Uh, this has all the good stuff in here. Onions, green onions, scotch bonnet pepper, garlic. I'll list the ingredients to this below. One onion, which I did cut up. One large carrot, which I cut into sticks. And a small piece of pumpkin, which I did cut into small sticks also. And some thyme. first going to get started by prepping our fishes I'm going to remove all the extra fins uh, from the fishes but I would advise that you can definitely prep your fishes to your liking for sure to score them on both sides and by scoring them this will help the seasonings to get in here and of course help our fishes to be a bit more flavorful once they're done wash my fishes using lemon juice and cool water and then we'll start prepping the seasonings for the fishes to season the fishes I'm using a dash of salt one teaspoon fish seasoning all-purpose seasoning cock seasoning and a quarter teaspoon of black pepper now it's time to season our fishes so I have two really large tablespoons of fresh blend in the bowl and of course the seasoning that we just mixed and I simply just pat dry any excess water from the fish and then I'm going to rub my seasoning all over the fishes. Now my reason for mixing the seasonings in a bowl is simply because when working with fish of course you don't want to be dipping your hand um, back into the seasoning containers and touch the fishes and then get everything contaminated so I like to mix my seasons in a bowl and then uh, season the fishes of course you can do this however you feel comfortable uh, doing it prepping it's time to start cooking so I poured enough olive oil into this non-stick pot and I'm doing this over a medium high heat I did also go in with about two really large tablespoons of fresh blend and I'm going to add my veggies first now I got started with the veggies that takes longer to cook so of course carrots take a little bit longer to cook and I did also go in with uh, my pumpkin Thank you. 
Next, I'm going to add the okra, some thyme, and some of the onions. Now for the sake of the video, and just so that I did not start overcooking my veggies, I did lower my heat to low at this point. Now I'm going to add my scotch bonnet pepper, a little bit of the green onions, and a little bit of the tomatoes also. Next, I'm adding about a half a cup of water or so to my pot. Now don't add too much uh, liquid or water to your pot as your fishes and the veggies will release liquid once they start cooking together. I also went in with one teaspoon of grounded pimento seeds, one teaspoon black pepper, one teaspoon all-purpose seasoning, and I'm going to add the entire package of the fish soup mix in here just to add some extra flavors to the pot. At this point, I would advise to taste your pot and adjust the seasonings and the salt as needed. Now it's time to add the fishes to the pot. So I'm just going to ensure that I somewhat clear a path each time that I add a fish in here. And I also ensure that I cover the fishes with the veggies uh, once I add them to the pot. I'm also going to ensure that I pour in any remainder of liquid from the bowl to the pot. I'm going to top everything with about two tablespoons of butter and the remainder of veggies that I did put aside. Now the reason for adding these veggies last is just so that they would have kept a nice crunchy texture or somewhat crunchy texture once everything is almost done but this is definitely optional. I'm now going to cover the pot and allow everything to cook over a low heat. Be sure to give your pot a little shake every now and then while the fishes are cooking. Even when using a non-stick pot, things can definitely begin to stick for sure. So we are at the 25 minute mark and I'm now going to go in with my crackers. Again, you guys, this is optional, but every true Jamaican knows that steamed fish is not steamed fish without the crackers. My fishes were done cooking about 10 minutes after adding the crackers to the pot. And you guys, do you see this? I wish you guys could smell this right now. Oh my God. My kitchen smelled like heaven. This was a one pot weeknight meal for us. So dinner was done in a total of 35 minutes. And to ensure that your fish is cooked, you can definitely use a fork to flake the flesh of the fish, and once it's nice and flaky, your fish is ready. Guys, I was so hungry when making this tutorial, so I was not focused on the presentation, but you guys, this was so, 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 so good. I'm pretty sure the food police is going to come for me once I post a picture of this messy plate, but it's okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and check out my website, LondonCooks.com, for recipes that I do not share on here.